Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the general method of constructing a regular polygon inside a given circle. So if you, are, if you have a circle and you're asked to either inscribe or to construct a regular polygon, irrespective of the number of sides that you're asked to construct inside a given circle. So how do you go about drawing it or constructing it? So this is a part two of this, uh, showing this. This is a part two. I have the part one of this video that explained this but in that part one we did uh, what we did was we had a regular a circle and then we inscribe a regular polygon with seven sides so this time around we are going to be uh, having a given circle and we are going to be constructing a regular polygon with nine sides so we are going to be having nine sides so this part two is just to give you more understanding, especially if you have watched the part one, just to give you more understanding on how to go about doing this. It's the same process and the same principle. So now let's get started. So this time, uh, also in this part, we are going to be using a side of, I mean, a radius of six centimeter, six centimeter. So just to let you know that it's still the same principle you are going to be applying. So before we get started, please, if you are here to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel, PA Academy. And the little bell icon and beside the subscribe button kindly click on it so if you're already finding value in this video kindly uh, give this video a thumbs up so now I'm measuring uh, using my compass to measure the length of the radius so six centimeter so I'm going to be drawing the circle so yeah we already have our circle so the next thing is to draw the diameter. So let's make draw a diameter. So let's call this part point A and then point, point B. So the next thing that we are going to do is on this diameter, line AB, we are going to divide it into nine equal parts. That's because we are trying to inscribe a regular polygon with nine sides. So if you are doing seven sides, we are going to divide line AB into seven. If you are doing ten sides, you are going to divide line AB, which is the diameter, into ten sides. So now we are doing nine sides. We are going to divide it into nine. So to divide it, so at a convenient angle, so you draw a line straight down. So what we are going to apply here is the principle of uh, how to divide a straight line into equal number of parts. So on this line that we've just drawn, let me call this point C. So this line AC, now we are going to divide this line AC into 9. So you can use your divider for that. So you keep doing it like that, 9. So let me pause the video and go ahead with it. So I've already divided this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So I'm going to join this 9.9 9 on line AC to point B. So the next thing is to draw a line parallel to this line 9B. Nine, nine from 9 to B, I'll draw a line parallel. In such that, so from point 8, this point 8, I'll draw a line to line a b and to be parallel to line 9 c so i'll do the same thing for all the points so let me pause the video and so that to save us some time so now i've done the parallel line so that means this is point one two three four five six seven eight and nine so now we've been able to divide line a b into nine equal parts so next thing to do is we bring our compass and measure the length of a b so if our radius for this circle is six centimeter that means i mean our diameter that is the length from a to b is going to be 12 so you pick your compass again and measure it to 12 centimeter so depending on your unit, 12 centimeter is same as 120 millimeter. Okay. So you put it on point B. From point B, you draw an arc. 
So with the same length of 12 centimeter, you draw an arc. So if uh, your radius is not 6 centimeter, definitely your, the length of AB will not be 12. But it's the same principle irrespective of the, uh, the radius that you are using. So this point of intersection, let me call it point D. Point D. So what we do is from point D, we'll draw a, a line that will pass through 2 on the diameter. This point 2. So we are going to draw a line. So the line coming from point D pass through this point on, this, on the diameter, that's line AB, point 2. So where it is touching the uh, circumference of the circle, let's call it point E. So let's, we can go ahead and join point uh, A and E together. Now this A, uh, line A, E represents one side, represents one side of the polygon that we are constructing, coming. Okay. So what we can we'll do next is to pick, bring back our compass and use it to get the length of this line AE. So this is the length of line AE and then we are going to mark it on the circumference of the circle. So you have to be careful when you are doing this. So what you are going to do now is to join all these points together. So, so that is it guys, we've been able to inscribe or construct a regular poly uh, polygon inside a given circle and this time around we have uh, 9 sides. So if you, are, if you watch this video to this part, I have one question for you. So a polygon with 9 sides is called what? A polygon with 9 sides is called what? So let me know what your answer is in the comments section below. So if you find this video helpful, can you give it a thumbs up, give it a like, make sure you share this uh, video. And if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And kindly check the playlist also on technical drawing if you want to really know more about um, all these drawings like this, technical drawings like this, engineering drawing like this. Check the playlist on technical drawing. And with that, guys, I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.